So significant digits are kind of a complicated idea to get our head around. The next idea that we're going to use in working with scientific notation, though, is a very, very simple idea. The idea of the order of magnitude is that it's a, just a very rough estimate of how big the number is. So what do we mean by that exactly? The order of magnitude tells us what place the most significant digit is in. So as an example, say we had 273,400,000. The most significant digit is this 2. What place is it in? Well, it's in the hundred millions place, or we could count out 10 to the 0, 1, and so on. We see that the place that that 2 is in corresponds to 10 to the 8th. We say that this number is on the order of 10 to the 8th. That's really all there is to order of magnitude. Locate the most significant digit and find out what place it's in. I'll show you one more example. Point zero 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 three zero zero. Locate the most significant digit. That's this three. And then what place is that in? Zero, negative one, and so on. That's the place that corresponds to 10 to the negative 4. And so we say that this number is on the order of 10 to the negative 4. That's all there is to order of magnitude. But you see that it gives you a very vague idea of just how big the number is. Something on the order of 10 to the 8th is going to be in the hundreds of millions. Something on the order of 10 to the negative 4th is going to be some number of ten thousandths.